Dragon was feeling very hungry and prepared himself a nice blend of marshmallows and cheese. He was about to dig in when he heard something. There it was again. It sounded like a fly. It must have flown in through the open window, decided Dragon. Dragon thought the fly must be lost and tried to show him the way out. Out? The fly didn't want to go out. Hmm. Dragon thought the fly might be hungry, because Dragon sure was hungry right now. I'm sure the fly will leave the house to eat this tasty fruit, he said. It was very yummy looking fruit. The nicest fruit Dragon had seen in a long time. Dragon knew when the fly saw the fruit, it would hurry out and eat it. Dragon was happy the fruit tasted as good as it looked. And the fly really enjoyed the marshmallows and cheese. Fly paper. Dragon was trying to read, but the fly was being very noisy. <laughs> Dragon used pillows to block out the fly's buzzing, but now the flying of the fly was bothering him. Dragon made himself a nice little cave with a chair and a blanket. Now he couldn't see the fly or hear the fly, and it was nice and peaceful. It was nice and quiet. And the pillows were nice and soft. Dragon enjoyed his nap, but when he woke up, the fly was still buzzing away. Dragon decided he would have to catch the fly with sticky fly paper. The fly will get stuck on the honey, and then I'll take him outside and set him free. Dragon used honey to make his own fly paper. Honey is very, very sticky. You have to be very careful when you use it to catch a fly.
dragon got all tangled up in his sticky flypaper. But he didn't mind too much. He thought, if this paper is sticky enough to catch a dragon, then for sure it can catch a little fly. All he had to do was wait for the fly to land on the sticky paper. But the fly didn't seem to want to get stuck. Dragon thought he could even hear it laughing. Dragon decided not to wait for the fly to come to him. He would go to the fly. So Dragon started to chase the fly while waving his arms around. I'll get the fly stuck to the fly paper for sure now. Dragon now had some time to think and decided maybe fly paper wasn't the best way to catch a fly. Fly see, fly do. The buzzing of the fly was still bothering Dragon. He thought very hard, trying to come up with a way to get the fly out of his house. <laughs> he decided to use his vacuum cleaner. Since my vacuum cleaner can suck in dirt, for sure it can suck in a fly, he figured. That was trickier than he thought. Yeah. But Dragon finally sucked the fly into his vacuum cleaner. Oh. Now all he had to do was let the fly go. Vacuum cleaners not only suck in, they can also blow out. Dragon pushed the blow button to blow the fly out of the vacuum. That was trickier than he thought. The fly was out of the vacuum and back in the house. And everything was covered in dust. I will have to be more clever, decided Dragon. I'll pretend to be a big fly and show the little fly how to get out of the house. <laughs> buzz. 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 Dragon was very pleased with how much he looked like a fly. He started to act like a fly. Dragon hoped the fly would follow him outside. <coughs> Meanwhile, Mail Mouse arrived. She was very surprised to see such a big fly. That's the biggest fly I've ever seen. Wow! Hmm. Mail Mouse decided she would help Dragon. <coughs> and put some fruit outside for the fly. Dragon was happy. All that pretending to be a fly had made him very hungry. He'd worry about the real fly a little later. Fly goes by. Dragon still wanted the fly to go outside. His ears were very tired from listening to all that buzzing. Oh. I wish I could think of a way to make this fly go away. He sighed. It was hard to think while he had a fly on his nose. It tickled. It really tickled. Dragon tried to ignore the fly on his nose, but it got ticklier and ticklier 
And the next thing he knew... Excuse me. Dragon excused himself for sneezing, and then listened for a moment. Oh. <laughs> he couldn't hear the fly anymore. I must have sneezed it away. Finally, no more buzzing. No more zipping about. He closed the window so the fly couldn't come back in. His house was nice and quiet again. Oh. Too quiet. Dragon realized he missed his little fly. He liked having the fly as company. He decided to let the fly come back inside. Soon, his friend had returned. <laughs> now, Dragon just had to figure out which one he was. Ooh. 